Hello everyone, my name is Inimo. On behalf of the team today, I would like to talk about the Tomosa, the first open source pathway for the persistent and distributed scheduler in SAF. First of all, let's talk about the challenge when we are dealing with the big data. As you may know, Sentinel-1 is a free of sharks and massive data volume. This is good, but it's also a challenge for us because of the massive inside data or face information we need to handle. Particularly, how to make sure that the, the best way to explore such big data for long time monitoring. So, are we ready for this challenge? In the literature, it is available a processing scan to tackle distributed targets. However, there is a gap to work on the persistent targets and to demonstrate it on the real applications. Our objective is the, to be the first in the providing the bridge for such a gap by uh, introducing a compressing technique and the open source Tomosa. I will focus on the Mekong Delta and Ho Chi Minh City area to highlight its capability. Let's talk a few words about the INSA time series techniques for the phase estimations. Over the past 20 years, many INSA methods have been developed to improve phase measurement accuracy in the real world. The main problem is the atmospheric contributions. So the main formula for this problem is that we need to long series of shark over time. Accordingly, we can define the stable gathering, for example, persistent gathering (PS) and the boost distributed gathering (DS). So there are algorithms already but we cannot do it directly on the big data because it is the not effection. We need a better statutory processing chains, for example, to work on the reduced data sets for distributed target. This one is a good algorithm. Reason. We have proposed a feasible processing chain based on this estimator to account the both persistence and distributed target. Comsa is an INSA image compression technique for today's big data era. Let's go into a bit details. Let's uh, suppose that uh, INSA images are available. The images are correlated on the reference common git so we have a shop like a spa in the natural environment dominated by distributed scatter geometric temporary decorrelation uh, to very limiting factors the main idea to enhance the quality of distributed scatter by establishing a network of the interferograms for which these decorrelation effects are minimized or exploiting all possible interferograms. How to identify a good DS? To enhance their signals, a number of the big cells sharing the same statistical behavior can be exploited to emulate DS into CANCES. At each location, we find, we find the family of statically homogeneous big cells and applying to the two sample tests, we can then compute is sample coherence matrix by taking advantage of its family. The INSA coherence matrix is our main actor of the technique. 
The, co- the coherence metric is uh, exploited to estimate the linking phase with uh, optimum for all possible interferometric phases. When select or uh, when selection of PS and BS candidates is done, the PS algorithm can be applied for the um, an- estimations of the dis- displacement of time series of each measurement point. The PSDS technique is powerful. However, we need to calculate a full coherence metric. This can be an effection when we have many samples or when the new acquisition is available. Our idea is to provide the massive data into many mini stacks and then compress them. It is, avail- uh, it is uh, possible when the phase linking technique, because it is well known for estimations for pers- precise phase estimation. In this way, the compressor can be calculated by a coherent summation of the linking phase and its original data. Kai of say, give a small batch of 10 images instead of reprocessing uh, 90 images. We do with only 9 images. In this way, whenever a new acquisition comes, we do need to recalculate all again. Such compression images can be used as the datum to learn the history mini stacks with the region acquisitions and therefore be able to reconstruct our own phase time series. When it comes to memorize requirement with 200 images of 500 plus 2000 size, 220 gigabyte for PSDS, but only 45 gigabyte for COMSA. Thus, COMSA is a much fairly big data processing. We impl- implement, implement uh, the PSDS and propose COMSA algorithm as an open source COMSA package. Uh, to our knowledge, Thomsa is the first public domain tools available to jointly handle PS and DS targets. Now we try to compare the algorithm for Thomsa and SPS from the most recent development tool list uh, SPS. We can uh, immediately see that uh, by using the more precise algorithm from Tomo Tomsa, the result is better than the sense of the denser distribution measurements. The red rectangle indicates hotimicity area. Here, we able to measure the average subsidence trends over the past five years for the end, uh, for the entire Mekong Delta regions, in a single frame consisting of ten million measurements, ring area stability. Why red indicate an unstable infrastructure area? So we can map subsidence for a very large region. As we can see, to f- 250 km in range and 350 km. To do a validation, we first consider comparing to the result of a small area analysis. Let's move to the hotimicity areas for more details. This figure were provided by using the same strap uh, the the uh, the the wire of the large scale, the cross distributions is showing here, which indicate an identical spatial distributions 
with less than 1 mm but this difference of the velocity. Here are the results from three different uh, data, but they, they share the same subsidence distribution. Of course, when going to de into more detail, uh, there will be a little different as the profile as long this A, B, but uh, this is very tiny. The subsidence is the most pronounced in the area along the Saigon River in the northwest to S axis and in the southwest of the city a maximum value of uh, 80 mm per year which is an accordance of the finding in the literature. We can even go back in time to see how the subsidence processes. Uh, we take a closer look at a very famous area of the bank in the Saigon River. It is very, uh, it's very easy to see this area around with Hukan is extremely unstable because it is underlying geology is not solid, critical subsidence devastated it. The, the road uh, and require regular maintenance and elevation. For the calibration validation, we compare the insert with the reference velocity and we have a good array with error 3 mm per year. To summarize, Tomosa is the first public domain tool available to jointly handle PS and DS targets. The effort aims to contribute the spatial distribution the sub of subsidence in the Mekong Delta and Ho Chi Minh City by using TOMSA. It demonstrated a feasible coherence processing to handle by Delta wide scale. Comments and questions are welcome in the radar in the Facebook group. Thank you for your attention.